Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode of the Six Figure Systems Podcast. I have my amazing client, Holly, on here today, and she's going to be telling you all about five shifts that she made going from $52,000 a year to $135,000 in a rolling 12-month period. Her story is truly amazing. So Holly, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Go ahead and give us your number breakdown, and then we'll get into your shifts. Thanks, Megan. I'm so excited to be here today. Um, so I'm Holly Smebog, and I started HMS Career Coaching in 2018, um, sort of inching along, and uh, met Megan um, in 2023 after following her eagerly for a little while. So in 2023... Um, 2022, I made 52,000 in 2023, 83, and right now in 2024. So at the end of June, I'm at 85. So, um, hit my number from last <laughs> year. I'm so, so grateful and pumped about it. Admittedly work went into it, but, um, a lot of it is thanks to Megan. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> oh my gosh, of course. And like we were just doing the numbers we were going through and your rolling 12 is $135,000. So from Ju end of June to um 2022 or 2023 to end of June 2024, you're at $135,000. And I just want to like celebrate you. This is incredible. I really do think that this is such an example of what's possible for so many people who are listening to this episode. And I wanted to talk about some shifts that we made at your business right at the beginning when we started working together. I think it was July of 2023. And one of those, the things that we shifted and the things that we're going to go over in this episode are we're going to talk about the difference having a six figure offer makes. And then we'll talk about the difference that you can make in your marketing, in your sales, while you're managing leads, and then getting into planning. So we're going to go through all of this, like, I guess, secrets about how you got there. And we're going to get through and just go through each of those different pieces and think about how you can start as you're listening to this episode. I want you to start thinking about your business in the way that Holly was able to think about her business so that she can make these shifts. So really amazing. And first things first, let's get started talking about what were the things that shifted when you made your six-figure offer? Good point. So before um, we started working together, I was selling um, career coaching services to people sort of bespoke. So on a consultation, I would listen to them and then I would uh, you know, explain how I could help them, but every offer was basically different. Maybe I was saying six weeks or sessions or, you know, a few months service, but it wasn't a very clear defined offer. And that was probably just the most amazing shift in my work. Yes. I mean, like, cause I was there too. And I think a lot of people like they hear about one offer and they feel like it's going to be like bad for their clients or they think that, I mean, for me, I wanted to make sure that everything was customized, but I found that I was working all of the time and I wasn't, it wasn't consistent enough for my clients either. What was the shift that like when you made, so you shifted from HMS career coaching, which was the bigger brand. And then you actually started the career fulfillment accelerator, which is a three month coaching program. What did you feel like you were working more or less? Like what kind of shifts happened from there? I feel like I spent a little bit more time on the back end, you know, thinking about how do I really serve people well? And then with your help, we really came up with, you know, the pillars of my service and what the typical career transition process includes and how to get clients to that end result. And then reflecting on the clients that I had, I realized the average time it takes to affect real change for somebody is 12 weeks. And so I translated that, you know, into the three month program and started talking about that in a way that provided so much more clarity. 
Absolutely. And one of the things that I, um, we actually didn't talk about before we started recording, but one of the things that I think is so important about this is if you are trying to scale your business to your first six figures, and then also scaling to multiple six figures, you want to have a proven, um, a proven like, um, process that you take your clients through something that you actually get what's called a proof of concept, or it's proof that like what you teach actually works. And I think that starting that with one-on-one is so helpful because then you get incredible reviews, you get amazing testimonials, you get people that are renewing with you and you get referrals as well. So for you, I think that not only you doing your process at a one-on-one level, but it also allowed you to now shift your offer and create your course. So do you want to speak to like, kind of like how that came about? Sure. Um, I, you know, I found, I guess at the beginning of this year, it was kind of a goal to fill my schedule, but then my schedule was full and that was great and crazy. (laughs) Um, Okay. There's demand. How can I serve more people and, um, and sort of move also into the B2B market. And part of that is taking this process and developing a course where I can be on the side as a coach, uh, serving groups of people as they're going through the course, the same process that I work with people one-on-one through, but groups working together. And in fact, there's a lot of benefits from that that sort of peer work as well. Yes. And I think that so many people are so tempted to want to start a group right away. I think they want to start a group. I think they want to get into like, they're like, I love coaching groups of people. This is so fun. I can't, I can't wait to have like a a group of like 50 people and, or do a course where I just like, I don't even have to, um, I don't even have to be there. They can just buy this course what are the, why are you glad, like maybe this is kind of like a leading question, but like, why are you glad that you started with one-on-one and were you ever thinking about like doing other things while you were doing one-on-one coaching? Um, I was definitely thinking about doing, you know, open coaching groups, like either on LinkedIn or Facebook and thinking about that, like being a face where more people could come in and ask questions. But as I really, you know, defined this process and saw it working. And, you know, it's a four-step process and some people spend different amounts of time in each one. So it is really individualized and customized, but the whole thing as an umbrella concept really works to shift people. So, um, so yeah, the course, I think, you know, having seen so many individual people go through it and have success. So working one-on-one, for all that foundational time gives me the confidence to know, okay, if this course is developed right and it's good and I'm putting good content out there, people will get results walking through it. And that's what I love. <laughs> yes. Well, and so I think like that's the first shift as everybody is like listening to this podcast to have a six figure business. I think starting with a really solid six figure offer that you feel really confident about making sure it's scalable, but also like making sure that you get proof of concept with one-on-one is like a huge shift. So again, that's like, if anyone's listening to this, you're trying to get to your first six figures, that's like the first shift we want to make. And then when we are thinking about the second shift that I think that all six figure businesses have is having marketing on like very consistent marketing, making sure that's a focal point of your business. How did doing six-figure systems help your marketing to kind of help you scale? Boy, and that was a part, it was hard for me to make that shift. I definitely was sort of unorganized in my marketing and, you know, doing, I'd see an article and think, oh, I can repost that and offer some content. And most of my clients were coming in through referrals, um, but with marketing, you know, really using your calendar to plan out what, you know, the mess, the flow of the messaging, and then also when I was going to do the work allowed me to, you know, basically set aside time on the weekend or, you know, one night a week to think about all the marketing from the big picture, do the things, and then sit back and sort of watch the results. (laughs) Yes. 
Well, that's the thing that I think when we're thinking about marketing, I was this exact same way. Like when I first started my business, I was just kind of like on a Tuesday morning, I would just wake up and be like, what do I think people need to hear? And it was just kind of like, okay, I guess I'll post about that today, which is a great place to start. If that's where you're at, again, amazing, great place to start. But if you're scaling to six figures, having a plan and being like, okay, I actually can see the bigger picture for like what I want my month to look like, what I want my year to look like, what are the key pieces I need to be hitting, I think is really a piece of a what takes a business from a, um, a multiple five figure business or like just getting started to a six figure business for sure. Because now like you've got a brand, like people know of HMS career coaching and they're not just friends and family. They're not just referrals. It's like, it's more than that, which is really exciting. And something we were talking about, um, as well is we've heard comments about the market of people who want coaching being saturated. And I don't feel like that either. And I want to hear your thoughts about that too. I don't see that at all. I feel like coaching is really growing in awareness and in in people, it's kind of still a really new market for most people. Um, And so I get a lot of um, referral, I mean, uh, uh, consultations through Google searching for coach, career coach, life coach. Um, and that, you know, that steady flow really proves to me that, that the market is very strong. I totally agree. And I think that like, as all of us, as we're service-based businesses, I think that just the, just our economy overall, I think is going to flourish so much more as we shift. I think that there's still always going to be products served product sales are going on, but I do think that service-based businesses are growing in demand. And I think that the key difference is if you position yourself and you've got really clear, if you're like, there is a need and I'm filling it with my service, which I think that you have done really well. I think that I've kind of created a market for systems. I think it makes your marketing so much easier. And I also think that your your clients are going to find you because there's a need that you're filling. So I want as people are listening to this episode, I want you to think about like, yes, you're an amazing expert in what you do. You're an amazing service provider, but also how can you fill a need? How can you be an expert in your industry that people are seeking? Like, what is the problem that you are solving with your business? And how can you make it so crystal clear that you are the solution for your audience? I think that is going to be the shift. And I think that's what you've done really well. So a lot of feedback um, that, you know, people come to my website and they look at other people, you know, they Google career coach and they look at five websites and some people like what's on my website, you know, some people like what's on the other one. So, you know, in a crowded, if market, there's still a need for you. Oh my God. I love that. Yes. So agree. And speaking about like the market, so you got the marketing, right? You've got all these people that are coming in and then they get on, let's actually go to managing leads. Let's talk about that for a second. So like after people see you on your website, after they see you on um, Google, maybe they see you on LinkedIn, maybe they're seeing you on Instagram. What do you feel like you've learned in six figure systems to help you take people from like seeing your big marketing to actually becoming like a lead and managing leads? That's like another pillar of like what I feel like having a six figure systems business is all about is like having leads and actually making sure that you're bringing people in? Oh, that's a good question. And one of the things that's been really helpful that probably transfers to lots of steps in the process too, is sort of automating things that don't need a personal touch. So, you know, I set up a book, a free consult in the back end of my website and then on my um, business software. And then you helped me with, you know, lead um, messaging. So when people, um, are making an appointment, they learn what, what to expect in a consultation call, they get follow-ups, they have a form to talk about what to expect in the call. So it's, it's an automated process that allows me to spend time doing the important things of then preparing for the consultation. Which is huge. And one of the things that I think is really critical, like you mentioned, you're getting a lot of referrals, 
But then it's also about when you're thinking about managing leads, there's like the nurturing your current audience so you continue to get referrals. But then there's also doing outreach to build your audience, to find new people that are like interested in you. And because now you've booked out your one-on-one, you have actually hired other coaches to help you with all of your one-on-one clients. Like that's how booked out you are, which is incredible. Now you've been able to start doing outreach to other businesses. Can you tell us like kind of like what that has been like and how we've kind of like structured that up for you? Um, Well, I mean, one of the things that I try to do is keep networking on my calendar. So I call you know, call it networking, but it could be really different things going to women's business events locally, um, attending online workshops, um, you know, career cafes where other coaches get together, any place where, where people and business owners might be. I write articles for the business journal nearby. Um, I have a little um, ask a career coach, um, uh, column in the local paper. And I've gotten several leads from that. So kind of spreading my wings in different areas. Nice. Which I think that like a lot of us, like as you're building your business, I think I I heard another coach talking about like how your biggest asset is your brain. And the more creative you are, the more successful you'll be as a CEO. And I think that like, as you guys are listening to this, you might not think about any of these ways to manage leads, like you might be like, okay, my only way to market is to like post on social media. And I think that that's really, really important and valid. But for me, I was the same way. I was like, I need to get out of my bubble and I need to find new people. So like, I actually just did um, a post about this, but I did, I reached out to 102 different companies and organizations in January of 2021 one and only six responded to let me do a presentation for them. But I utilize that. And I did like multiple presentations for some of them. I like use those to get like other speaking opportunities. Like I just had to get like really creative. So if you are trying to grow your business to six figures, I would highly recommend getting creative, getting out there, putting yourself out there to as many people as possible and as many weird and not weird, but like different ways as possible. And I really do think that that's like a huge component of building a six figure business is not just like nurturing the leads that you have with like content on social media, but getting out of your audience, finding new people, building relationships, and it's going to take you places. Just like really exciting. And the next place we're going to talk about is like the third um or the fourth pillar of six or your systems is the sales call. Like, and I think this is the one I really wanted you to speak about on this um on this um podcast because I think that your sales calls just went from good to great. And I want to hear what your experience was with like the consultation blueprint and like the conversion blueprint and all the things that you've experienced with that. Um Good, good point. So, I mean, one of the things about working with you is that you show up with really positive, great energy. And just from a foundational level, that's something I've really tried to internalize. Like, you know, when I get on the uh, call with a, a consult, just really thinking about, I'm so grateful to have this opportunity to serve this person. I'm so curious. I'm, you know, so enthusiastic, they really need help, I'm here to help them, you know, lots of positive energy and just complete curiosity and, and having, you know, AI meeting notes where I don't have to take any notes at all is a side note really helps. Um, But then we worked so much at the beginning on what my pillars are. So what I'm really doing with clients and how I'm achieving results for them. And so it became so much easier to, you know, go through a consult and really ask them about where are you today? And then, you know, think about, okay, let's, you know, quantify that a little bit if we can. And then where would you like to be? Like, what would be a great outcome of coaching together? And then have them start feeling you know, something really positive inside from a feeling of discomfort and starting to think, well, I'd love to have a new job or I'd love to just have a plan or I'd love to do something totally different in my life. And then talking about, okay, well, when we start coaching together, this is how we're going to help you get there. And then going through the pillars that we have worked together to define, it just became so much stronger and fun. I am so glad. Like, and the thing that like, 
I think that people worry about like with pillars or like having like a set structure when you're thinking about your offer and having like key components. So for instance, when I had the career fulfillment initiative, which is similar for my, that was like the similar name, but definitely a different program. I was like talking about confidence, burnout, time management, work-life balance, and long-term plan. And so I went, those were my pillars of my six-figure offer. So when I was talking about this kind of thing, is what I found to be really, really interesting was that I took consult calls and I was like, where are you at now? Where do you want to be before I made the career fulfillment initiative? And I would have people talk about like everything under the sun. Like it was just like anything and everything. And I find it really amazing that like you're still bringing in like C-suite executives and people who are like people who are working UPS and you go through the same process with both of them. And it creates such a cohesive flow that I really do think builds trust. I think it really like people think that like having a structure is going to stifle their ability to reach other people. And I think it actually creates more trust than less. Like that's my opinion. What do you think about like that piece of things? Like, has it been helpful to like, kind of when you're thinking about your offer, being able to have those pillars as kind of like a foundational point? Yeah, I'd say that um, once you do your homework and get everything well-defined, then you can also infuse your personality and you don't have to stiff you know it can be more fun to go through that and I had someone just the other day saying oh yeah I worked with one of my competitors you know worked with and they were very aloof and it just made me think okay you know I guess I'm what I was thinking about well how am I coming off that's not aloof you know and it's it's um personable yet effective and he also said in the same conversation this sounds like just what I need so like score but so it is <laughs> that um combination of really knowing your stuff and then feeling confident enough to be yourself I love that oh and I really do think like if you are growing your business to your first six or multiple six figures having a system for your sales where you feel super confident about it is just going to help you so much because then you can take that system and then you can make it that you go through with your one-on-one clients. And if you want to start a group and you want to have a, like a membership later on, it's like, it gives you a really strong foundation and you can use that same structure on a webinar. And that's what we're actually, we're going to be doing for you in the future. It's going to be awesome. Um, last but not least, the last pillar of, I feel like, and the last shift that you made to have a 52K business to 135K business, like so cool, was the planning aspect of things and like really um, creating a system around your time and managing it well. I want to hear about like what kind of shifts you made as you're, you have become a powerhouse in the career coaching industry and a six-figure earner. Well, I think that we talked about in the fall, you asked me, well, what do you want next year to be like? You know, if you think about your year and quarters, what would be a great way, you know, what would be good for you and good for the business? And I thought, okay, well, you know, I was interested in in starting the course and also, you know, have a daughter going to college and friends coming to visit overseas in the summer, which is always really busy. And I thought, you know, I want to have some time when I can focus on the course, not be crazy busy with one-on-ones and just be, you know, uh, around for the family. So I don't want to have too many clients in, you know, July and August. And I want that to be downtime. So I'm really focused on first quarter, second quarter and fourth quarter for the, the earning. And so we talked about what does that look like numbers wise, you know, how are we going to make that happen? And, and then, you know, basically scaled up a bit on pricing when, you know, the schedule was full and then sort of, um, worked with the other coaches, brought on the other coaches to take off a little pressure. And now I'm building the course and have a little downtime to see that through. And here I am looking at July tomorrow and it's, it's um just laying out magically. So thank you so much. <laughs> oh my God. Of course. I literally just like, I, that's the biggest thing that I want people to hear is that like, you can have a six figure business and you can have a life. 
Like it doesn't have to be either or. You just have to think about it in a really strategic way. For me, I also wouldn't have a really wonderful summer. I went to travel. I think I have like 14 trips planned this year, maybe more. And I'm traveling like right before my launch. I think I have like three more trips in July at going into August. So yeah, I'm going on three or four more trips throughout the year. It's going to be wild. It's going to be so much fun. And I think that like, that's the thing that people think if you are a CEO of a big business, like you have to sacrifice things. And I want to let you know that you absolutely do not have to. It really can be, you can have both. And that's like the thing that I, I really think that systems have helped me find. And I'm really glad that you found that too. So really, really excited for you and all of these amazing things. I, um, within the, the six figure systems mastermind that's coming up in August, the enrollment's going to be open. And I know many of you listening to this podcast might be thinking about it, or if you're listening to this podcast, like later on, you might be thinking about joining the six figure systems crew. I want to know, like, what would you tell somebody who is thinking about like, joining? Do you have any like comments and ideas for them that you could add? Sure. I mean, I would say, I, you know, I give you the highest recommendation because you know your stuff. So that's the real baseline of your service is that you've got the six figure systems. You've really dug deep on perfecting them. They work. And for clients who come to you and, you know, are compliant and march through them, they're going to build the business that they're going to hit six figures. It does work. So that's, you know, the primary thing. And I think the secondary thing, which is just amazing and wonderful is how fun it is to work with you. And like I said before, how much energy you bring and you always feel, make your clients feel really special and even when, you know, I would come to the call feeling kind of tired, I'd just be wowed like, well, okay, I, you know, I'm on fire here. That's what she <laughs> and I'm going to do these three things this week and take my business to the next level. So um, yeah, you're awesome. The course is amazing. It absolutely works. Double thumbs up. <laughs> I love this so, so much. I thank you. And I really like, I, I, I hope that every single human feels like that. Like, I just want people to know it is so possible. Like it is, even if like you, like me, I never came from a business background. I was a teacher. I want you to know that like, if this is something that you're dreaming of, if this is something that you have a thought about and like want to create in the world, I would love to support you. So if that's something that you're thinking about, definitely check it out. We'll include that in the show notes. And I just wanted to know if you have any other last pieces of wisdom for any of these people who are listening to the podcast, if they are building their first six figures or they want to scale to multiple six figures, like you have not done what are there's some like just lingering. If you have any, I was like, I just like just throw you out on the spot, but like, do you have any advice for the people that are listening to here? Um, mindset is number one. And that's, you know, why having a coach like Megan or getting coached in general is just pivotal in turning your business around or growing your business. It's belief. And you've believed in me and that's enabled me to do it. And, you know, as your clients and the people listening, I would just say, believe in yourself. You can totally do it. I am so with you. Oh, Amazing. Holly, thank you so much. I'll, if anyone's interested or has heard about the Career for Women Accelerator and wants to learn about it, where can they learn more about you? And I'll include all of those details, your LinkedIn, your Instagram. I'll include all of that in the show notes as well. Sure. Um, my website is HMS Career Coaching, and that's probably the primary vehicle. Holly Smeevog, and love to see you there. Amazing. Well, thank you, Holly. Thank you everyone for listening. And I can't wait to talk to you soon.